Happy birthday to legendary wrestler Cowboy James Storm. Legendary actor Morgan Freeman. Legendary actress Danielle Harris. Legendary actor Paul Schreier, a.k.a. Bulk from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Xavier back again with another video. And before I do my Attitude Era rant, reminiscing 21 years of an arm wrestling match between the Cat and Terry Reynolds, from the June 1st, 2000 edition of SmackDown, I got to do this rant real quick because we have a big special birthday today. Today is the 60th birthday of legendary actor, comedian, and host, Mark Curry. If you grew up in the 90s like I did, he is best known for his role as Mark Cooper on his own television sitcom on ABC, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, from 1992 to 1997. He was also one of the various hosts of Showtime at the Apollo during the early 1990s. He also started in the three seasons show See Dad Run on Nick and Knight from 2012 to 2015. Mark Curry was born in Oakland, California on June 1, 1961. Mark Curry is the youngest of nine children. He attended St. Louis Notre Dame High School in Alameda, California, and California State University, East Bay, in Hayward, California. As a child, Mark Curry was a participant at the East Oakland Youth Development Center, a local youth organization. Mark Curry's first acting role was in the 1991 movie Talking Dirty After Dark, where he appeared along with Martin Lawrence. His first major role when he had his own television sitcom on ABC, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. On the show, we all know Mark Curry played Mark Cooper, an NBA player turned substitute teacher slash gym coach. The show ran for five seasons and 101 episodes from September 22nd, 1992 to August 30th, 1997. And did you know that Hanging with Mr. Cooper was created by the same guy who made Full House and Fuller House, Jeff Franklin? To be honest with you guys, I like Hanging with Mr. Cooper better than uh, Full House, to be honest. Because Hanging with Mr. Cooper is without a doubt one of the most underrated African-American sitcoms of the 90s. Hanging with Mr. Cooper definitely deserves a comeback. It ended way too early. The first four seasons had 22 episodes and the last season had 13 episodes. In 1994, Mark Curry guest started on Living Single. In 1997, he made another guest appearance on Martin. He was later featured on two episodes of the Jamie Foxx show. He also made cameos in the 1997 feature film Switchback and the 1998 movie Armageddon. In 2000, Mark Curry had a recurring role on the Drew Carey show as Robert Soller, Drew Carey's boss. Also in 2000, he hosted the Comedy Central game show Don't Forget Your Toothbrush and made a guest appearance on the sitcom For Your Love with his Hanging with Mr. Cooper co star Holly Robinson Pete. Mark Curry went on to play in the lead role of scientist Norton Ballard in the Disney Channel original movie The Proof Point. The movie reunited Mark Curry with Hanging with Mr. Cooper co-star Don Lewis who played his on-screen wife. Mark Curry was the host of, PAX, of the PAX TV show Animal Tales and BET's Coming to the Stage in 2003. In 2004, he appeared on Celebrity Mole Yucatan. In that show, he became second place to Dennis Rodman. In 2005, Mark Curry was featured in the episode of Less Than Perfect and guest starred as Max Cooper on two episodes of Fat Actress. 
he made another guest appearance on the 2008 episode of Tyler Perry's House of Pain. On November 30th, 2008, Mark Kerr performed a stand-up comedy routine on the Comedy Festival Lafapalooza special, which was hosted by Tracy Morgan. Mark Curry played Principal Nash on two episodes of The Secret Life of an American Teenager. Mark Curry's recent role where he played Marcus Barnes in the Nick and Nice series See Dad Run. The show ran for three seasons and 51 episodes from October 6, 2012 to August 13, 2015. So my thoughts about Mark Curry turning 60, he does not look no damn 60. He still looks the same from his hanging with Mr. Cooper days. That's what he'll always be best known as Mark Cooper from hanging with Mr. Cooper. That's the first time I seen Mark Curry when he had his own television sitcom on ABC, hanging with Mr. Cooper. So... I just can't believe Mark Curry is now 60 years old and he don't even look 60. And it's a good thing that he's part of the Gemini team. Thank you, Mark Curry, for everything that you've done in your career. So glad that you're still doing your thing. You are still one of the funniest comedians ever. We'll always remember you from your own television sitcom, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Like I said before, that show was funny as hell. One of the most underrated African-American sitcoms of the 90s, and it definitely deserves a comeback. I wonder what's he going to do for the 30th anniversary of that show next year. We don't know yet. We just have to wait and see. But that pretty much wraps up my quick rant celebrating the 60th birthday of legendary actor, comedian, and host Mark Curry, a.k.a. Mr. Cooper. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next rant on one of my favorite celebrities in honor of their big birthday. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave your comment down below. I'll be back in a minute to reminisce 21 years of an arm wrestling match between The Cat and Terry Runnels from the June 1st, 2000 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 60th birthday to Mark Curry, a.k.a. Mr. Cooper, from Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Matter of fact, I want to show y'all the Hanging with Mr. Cooper intro real quick before I close this rant out in honor of Mark Curry's birthday. I got to show y'all the intro. Mark Curry. That's a season one intro. Look at this show. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. 